Hi guys, good morning. I'm gonna do a little vlog today. I'm out and about, I'm getting a haircut and I need to stop and get Axel a couple things. I feel like every vlog, it's it just so happens to be when I'm getting him stuff. But either way, that's what's going on today. And I want to talk about something that I've kind of covered before, but not really in specific detail, like I want to talk about today. <sighs> the idea of parent shaming comes up a lot when I talk about the topics that I talk about with these family vloggers and uh, parents posting their kids on YouTube and TikTok and all the things parent shaming. Oh, you're parent shaming. Oh, you're judging. You don't know. You don't know this. You don't know that. A lot of the things that I cover, the issues are well known. These are not things that are uncovered and, oh, maybe nobody knew about that. Maybe they didn't know. So why are you being hard on them? I get it. I'm learning stuff every single day. But bad people being on the internet has been a thing since the inception of the internet. From the early days. Do y'all remember that show, To Catch a Predator? I'm sure a lot of y'all remember that. I used to watch that and be scared to death of people on the internet because it would be the pastor, the dad who coaches his ch kid's baseball team. Um, and by the way, I'm not saying that women can't be predators. I'm just saying that on that show, most of the time it was men who were featured for whatever reason. I don't know. I'm not a producer. So this idea of bad people being online has literally been a thing since forever. When the internet was created, very shortly thereafter, creepy people found their way to the internet. So I'm not talking about something that could be learned or could be improved upon. I'm talking about things that are very well known. But I came across this new trend on TikTok. God, the trends on TikTok, that could... Those could be videos in, for a year on, the, on their own. But anyway, what these parents are doing is they're taking their baby or their toddler's foot, using this popular sound where it sounds like someone's punching in a phone number, and it's mixed with a song, whatever. This is a trend that's gaining momentum. And there are a lot of people participating in this. I went through and looked at some of the videos. The number of saves on these videos is insane. There are tens of thousands of people saving these videos. A common argument that I've heard to the number of saves on videos is maybe it's other parents wanting to come back and reference the video. Maybe it's other people wanting to reference the sound, whatever. And I have been partially accepting of those arguments in the past. But I'm not going to be accepting anymore. And the reason is, is because these parents are putting this stuff online. And even one person of those tens of thousands is a predator. That is a problem. If you want to say, oh, maybe it's just a lot of people that are completely innocent and just think the video is really cute. First of all, we've had this conversation. If you're an adult and you are that infatuated with a child that you want to save a video to reference later, I just think that's really weird. But as parents, you are taking the risk of putting your child on the internet and people inappropriately using a piece of content showing your child's foot you're taking that gamble. You're taking that risk. And I think that if you're taking that risk knowingly, 
I think that it's worth a little bit of parent shaming because you are not fulfilling your role as a parent if you are purposefully not protecting your children. And whether it's in the real world or on the internet, those two worlds collide so easily. I just don't understand the excuses. I don't understand the, oh, well, maybe it's just a cutesy blah, blah, blah. It's a risk that you are taking. Even if it's one person, why would you want to subject your child to even one person who might be using that content inappropriately? And then let's just say that that one person starts to build a parasocial relationship with your child. And because of the type of content that you make, that that person can easily find out where it is that you live. And that one person can show up at your house and try to do harm to you or your children or all of it. That is a risk you are taking all because you want to post your kids feet on the internet. And this is a widespread issue. There was one creator that I came across and she does videos of taking her kid's shoe off and then taking the sock off and matching it with music. That is creepy fucking content. That is literally content that people seek out and you're literally giving it to them on a silver platter with a fucking song attached to it. How is that that you are wanting to say, oh, I would never, um, I would never allow a predator around my child. I would never allow a creep around my child, but you're allowing them to have access to your kid through a fucking screen. And for a lot of them, that's satisfactory. But for some, it's not. All right, guys. So I ended up stopping at TJ Maxx because I had a little bit of time to spare. I found a new nail polish. I've been trying to do my nails more because tell me if you guys agree with this or if I'm just weird. Um, when I have my nails done, I feel like I'm more put together. My life feels more put together when I have something on my nails that is so, I sound like a psychopath, but I just feel like I'm more put together when I have something on my nails. It's very hard to do my nails at home because I always end up messing them up. You know, I go to grab something for Axel and I put a dent in one of them or smudge it. So it's very difficult. I have to do it late at night and then literally like stay still for at least, you know, 30, 40 minutes. So I've been trying to just have a little something on my nails. It makes me feel a little more put together. And I know that's super weird, but to finish out my thoughts before I get my hair cut with this whole idea of parent shaming, I just feel like maybe sometimes parents should be shamed. And I'm not saying that they should be bullied or anything along those lines. If you're making bad decisions and you know for a fact that these kind of people exist online and you're still continuing to put the content out there, then I'm going to shame you for it because your kids deserve better. Your kids shouldn't have to grow up and realize like, oh, well, that's why mom and dad stayed home with me. It's because they were showing the internet my feet and bath time and showing me my diaper. Like that is just so weird. And I've said before, I think we're going to see a lot of fractured relationships between these kids and parents when they get older. And it's going to be something sad to witness because it's so avoidable. It's also avoidable. The problem is these parents see the income and revenue that they can make and the attention that they get by making content focused around their kids. And there's nothing wrong with making parenting content. I have to say that quite often because of the content that I make. Nobody has an issue with parents. Nobody hates moms, at least on my channel. Nobody hates women. Nobody hates, you know, vloggers just because they're vlogging. It's the content that they're making that is the problem. And if you're showing the internet your kids' feet for clicks, you're a weirdo. And I think you should be shamed a little bit for it. But either way, I'm going to proceed on, get my hair cut, 
do the stuff for Axel, do some other stuff, and I'll check in with you guys in just a few. Just like that, the hair is chop chopped. I feel lighter. The only thing I hate right after I get my hair cut is she like kind of curls like the end just a little bit. And I hate that. I like for it to be super straight, but I can fix all that when I get home so that it looks a little more normal. Um, I was talking to her about possibly doing a toner. I might do that next time. I'm not sure. I'm still undecided. I want my hair to be a little darker because it's gotten kind of light and it just keeps getting light and lighter and lighter and lighter. So I might end up um, doing a little toner. We'll see. I was asking her opinion about those like color depositing conditioners and shampoos and stuff. And of course, like I get the gig. She wants me to do stuff through her because she's a business at, at the end of the day. But she was like, well, you know, you could try it, but it's not really going to give you the effect that you want because those are meant for color or hair that has bleach on it already because the bleach opens up the cuticle and that's what makes the product work and actually stick. So she was like, you can try it, but you might end up wasting your money. So anyway, so now I need to get Axel's stuff. I actually ended up making my haircut for my, or my haircut for my next appointment. My brain is not working. My appointment for my next haircut while I was there, I usually never do that. I just, you know, call like a couple weeks before I'm ready to get a haircut, but I went ahead and just did it because she is always super booked and I figure that's the best way to actually get in and not have to wait a month like I have before. Over the winter, I ended up having to wait like, I think it was like, it was, it was almost a month because she was so busy, but I like to see her busy. She's really good at what she does. But anyway, I'm going to make my way to the pet store, pet supply store for Axel. And then I will check in with you guys and I'll probably close out the vlog at that point. So I will see you in just a few. All right guys, I didn't put my mic on, so hopefully this works, but I wanted to close the video out here. I got Axel stuff, you can see I also got him an extra bottle of shampoo because he needs a spa day. Um, but either way, um, hopefully everything that I said makes sense. Sometimes I feel like I'm just jumbling words and all of that kind of stuff, but yeah, parent shaming, depending on the situation. If you're showing the internet your kids' feet for clicks and views, I think you're a weirdo. But either way, I'm gonna make my way home. So for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon, bye.